This is FYI on your TV, brought to you by Hometown News. I'm Kathy Botham. I have got Heidi Tabor back with me. You are the Children's Library Specialist from our Perth and District Union Library. Welcome back. Hi. Well, nice to see you again. Now, there's lots going on at your library, as always, but you've got a special event going on, too. Is this the first time? This is actually our third time running this event. It's called Library After Dark. And um, this time we are hosting Canadian singer-songwriter Susie Unjaleeder, who um, is coming all the way from Vancouver. Yeah, she's <laughs> from scary. Vancouver. Yeah, she's from Vancouver. Yeah. She's coming all the way here. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. So, so she, oh, go ahead. Uh, so um, that's going to be on Saturday, November 5th. And the magical thing that happens with that event is that we actually transform the downstairs of the library into an event. So... Um, 18 months ago, we purchased new shelving that's on wheels and we're able to roll all of the shelving out of the main floor of the library and create a really nice amphitheater down there and a stage. And then some, some of you might already know this, but we turn our common room into a bar. So there will be, um, beer and wine available for sale as well as non-alcoholic -alcohol beverages. So it's, it's a really fun interesting way to use the library space um and it to me it feels very special because we're using it after hours you know so it, it it's really fun absolutely yeah. absolutely it's sort of being transformed for sure for sure yeah <laughs> now now uh now susie uh now how do you say her last name unger leader unger leader unger leader she is actually uh, she was a, a vancouver library clerk she was yeah which is is such a neat I didn't actually know that about her until I read her bio. I've actually uh, been watching her perform and following her career probably for at least 15 years. Um, how she came about to be booked for this event, I went and saw her in Sherbert Lake this summer. And after the show, I sort of was like, hey, we're running these programs at the library. Would you be interested in coming? And she said, yes. So um, in the spring, we hosted Jim Bryson, who is an Ottawa-based singer-songwriter, and just before the COVID-19 pandemic started, so February 2020, we hosted our very first show with Joey Wright and Jenny Whiteley, who are two um, local musicians here in Perth. Excellent. but also Juno Award winning. So we try to keep it top-notch artists coming. I, am, I mean, speaking of which, I mean, Susie, uh, she's got uh, seven song cassettes nominated for three Juno Awards and four Canadian Folk Music Awards for Best Solo Performance, uh, Best Contemporary Singer and English Songwriter of the Year. And her latest album, My Name is Susie Ungerleader, uh, recently was nominated for a Juno for Best Contemporary Roots Album of the Year too. So she's yeah. well known across Canada. She's getting Juno Definitely. nominations. Definitely. And her stage presence is amazing. She is a great storyteller in between songs. So it's a, definitely a show if you're a live music lover, something to come and check out for sure. All right. So can you tell us uh, again when the times are, how to get tickets? So the tickets are available right on the homepage of our website. It's one of the first things you see. So that's www.perthunilibrary.ca. Um, if uh, websites and internet are not your thing, I totally understand. You can give our front desk staff a call to 613-267-1224 uh, and they're more than healthy, happy to help you. Um, or you can just come on into the library and we'll, um, we'll get you all set up. And doors will open at 7 p.m. and the music will start at 7.30. And yeah, uh, it's a cash bar or, or a tap. So we have Interact available as well. And it's going to be very fun. <laughs> so how many, how many tickets are you hoping to sell? Uh, 80, 80 is our maximum capacity. So Excellent. we're already at 40. So hopefully we're hopefully halfway we there we're halfway there absolutely yeah. absolutely now i there's always something always things going on at your library uh october is dyslexia awareness month that's right so um uh, ida ontario is an organization that sort of celebrates that month and we um were able to get uh, grant from them for $500, which we purchased um, decodable books. So these are books that have um, a print that is uh, uh, dyslexia friendly. And so we have a small, it's not a huge collection, but we're building it slowly um, of those books in our library for people to borrow, as well as a little display um, in our library. 
And I'm actually doing some training this week with the former children's librarian, Sue Snyder, who was here for 35 years, and she's very passionate about all types of learning. And so she's coming in to do some training with myself and my tutoring staff here. And it's going to be focused on learning for um, decodable uh, books and all that great stuff. Absolutely. You know, and, and when a child or an adult gets diagnosed with dyslexia, it, it helps. It, it helps you be able to enjoy reading again. Absolutely. That's and right. That's right. That's right. And uh, as well, uh, you've got a cookbook going on. Uh, you're doing, uh, you're looking for recipes. Yeah. So that was a project sort of born out of um, our new adult specialist. I, I believe you've interviewed Emily before. Yes. And so she is on maternity leave now. And in her replacement, we've got Michelle. And so she had this great idea of uh, welcome week that happened with the local immigration partnership and what's something that makes us all feel at home is cooking and recipes and gathering with friends and family. And so we've been actively gathering recipes from our patrons and people have been handwriting or typing or just dictating them to us. So we have, I believe we're up to 35 recipes now. Wow. And we just got this fabulous new co-op student volunteer who's going to type them all out and bind them for us. And we're hoping so we're taking recipes until October 31st, and then I think the idea is to sort of have it ready to go for Christmas sales and fundraising. Oh, that's yeah. awesome. That's awesome. And what better thing to do at a library is to make your own book. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, some of those cookbooks that, you know, uh, that people put together, like your library, the churches, uh, plowing matches, all that sort of thing, they got the best recipes in them. They do. And yeah. it's so neat to talk to people about their stories behind the recipes, you know, and, and just really engage with, it's been a fun project for sure. Absolutely. And some of our favorite recipes are my grandmother's favorite recipes too. So mm. we're carrying it on, putting it in a book. So I think that's a great legacy for people too. Yeah. It's uh, just a little bit of uh, let's, let's remember my grandma or my nanny or whatever, you know, they're what they made and it's uh, yeah, yeah, be in a book definitely. moving forward. Definitely. That's right. So your event again, let's talk about the event, uh, the night, the date and the, how to get to uh, okay, so Library After Dark with Susie Ungleiter, uh, Saturday, November 5th. Doors open at 7, music starts at 7.30. You can get your tickets online at our website or give us a call or come on in person. Excellent, excellent. You're halfway there. There's only a few, 40 tickets left, so get in there and get yeah. your ticket. That's yeah. right. Well, that's right. Joining us again, Heidi Tabor from the Perth and District Union Library. Thank you for joining us again and putting on a great event. Yeah, thanks for having me.